your grocery store could never. <laughs> Seriously. I'm sorry that we we have the coolest grocery store ever. Like ever. Does your grocery store have merch? Like I don't think it does. And do they have an album? Have they written an album yet? Where um, is it? Like sucks to suck. It is what it is. Welcome back to Vegan Yums. We have a rather strange video for you today. Parts of it have been requested. Parts of it are just my interests. Um, <laughs> the part that was requested was a review of President's Choice plant-based products. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of our viewers are not from Canada, so you're gonna be like, what are those? They are a grocery store line of products. I'm gonna get into the history of that grocery store in a second, because there's all kinds of interesting stuff about it. So that's gonna be part two of the video. We'll get to those. The first part I wanna explain is a very particular grocery store called No Frills. <laughs> I have lived in, in the UK, so I, I've been to some cool grocery stores, Tesco, Aldi, mm. but nothing compares to the particularities of No Frills. However, before we get into it, please subscribe to our channel, leave us a like if you like the video, leave us a comment. What is your favorite grocery store to go to? Follow us on Instagram at vegan yums with three S's. If you super duper want to support us, you can check out our coffee and our Patreon, which are linked down below. Um, and maybe follow us on TikTok too. We never talk about it, but we're, we're also there. Yeah. And share our channel or our content with a friend. Mm -hmm. It would help us grow so much. Okay. So welcome to Canada. We have this um, very large grocery store corporation called Loblaws. It's mm -hmm. been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. They own a number of grocery store brands, including literally Loblaws stores, uh, Real Canadian Superstore, Zares. And then they also own No Frills. Okay, so insert a picture of No Frills here. I shot some footage at my local No Frills the other day. It's all going in here. Wow. So No Frills was started in the 70s. Oh. Um, it was started in Toronto, in East York specifically, so just east of Toronto, oh. um, when they closed a Loblaws store and they were inspired by some European discount grocers to make a discount grocery. So they called it No Frills, implying that it uh, has no frills, so it has <laughs> nothing, uh, only has the necessities. You're only paying for the, the food. Even now, you bag your own groceries there, so they're oh, not yes. paying extra staff to bag your groceries. Mm. Absolutely not. You've also always had to pay for bags, mm. even before that became um, on trend because of the environment. Mm. Um, and I remember going with my dad as a kid, and he would never pay for the bags, and this was before the reusable bags, so, but yeah. they'd have boxes at the end of the checkout, like the boxes that their... Um, Produce came in? Produce and other things, everything came in, and you just fill the boxes and take them home. Ah. Those were free. Um, but even further, there was no butcher section. There were only like four cashiers at this particular one when they started. Oh. Um, their carts uh, have quarter slots. Like not a lot of groceries do where you have to like pay to like use the yeah, cart use and then the take cart. it, like deposit to use the cart. Yeah. No butcher, no bakery, no frozen food, no AC. Uh, no, no AC, oh no my god. No fancy displays and minimal choice of products. And actually in the original Damn. stores, um, they would just sort of shelve things like in their shipping containers and just sort of slash them open just to cut down on the labor cost of like having Damn. someone stock the shelves properly. Things have come a long way since then though. That's not exactly how No Frills is no. now. It's still one of the most affordable grocery stores to shop at, mm -hmm. um, but they do have, they don't have a butcher. They don't have a bakery, no. no. And they're also now franchises. So they're always called like Matt's No Frills. Yeah. Susan's No Frills. And then an important other factor to know about Loblaws and No Frills is the No Name brand of products. Yes, iconic. Iconic. It started around the same time in the 70s um, as the store started. And they started with 16 products and they now have nearly 3,000 No Name products. Oh my goodness. So literally it's just insert pictures, uh, like these yellow packages saying exactly what the product yeah. is, nothing else. And yeah. they're always cheaper than the name brands. Yeah. But here's the most interesting thing about No Frills, is the branding, the marketing. They've got this like hip hop, like punk rock aesthetic, and they've had this <laughs> since like the mid 2010s, like 2017, 2018. And this extends 
into like commercials. They have an album on Spotify. Yeah. They have playlists on Spotify. Um, they have a clothing line. That blows my mind. Yeah. The clothing line. And their slogans, like holler, like hashtag holler, ha hashtag haul hard. Like their Instagram handle isn't even no frills, it's haul hard. So I just feel like someone somewhere is the most brilliant marketing agency human ever. So let's get into the commercial for a sec, just so you can understand the aesthetic. Kind of scary. <laughs> Casey Hudecky. Oh my god! So <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> It's a music video. It is a music video. We're all our Um, going back for a hot sec, this, the, the pregnant lady, um, with the apple, the apple, it was our combat, our stage combat teacher in theater school. Yes. Um, and she was really she pregnant, was pregnant when she shot this and she's a badass in real life. Yeah. She's so cool. Yeah. Very anyway. Cool. So like, that's the aesthetic we're working with. Um, I'm not going to play you every no frills commercial cause I'm sure you don't necessarily want to see that, but there are so many more good commercials. It's mm -hmm. incredible. And it's like so intense and like cool. And that's not at all what you think of when you think of like no a grocery frills. store in yeah. general. Yeah. Also the Spotify, they actually play this album that they recorded in the store. Like if you go to the store, they are literally, <laughs> I recorded, insert my clip, and I'm gonna turn the music up really high and they're playing like bananas. Is it copyright? Can we play it? I have no idea. We'll see. I, if this is, if this is, there's no sound in this section, then we know it's been copyrighted. That, that's what happened. The man is. The man is. Oh my God. <laughs> Verified artist. <laughs> So they just. Oh yeah, it's no frills. Everybody knows, and we all the same way. Let's just what we play. Oh my God. Are these are these songs um, uh, designed after like existing songs? I don't know. I because don't know. that sounded like very New York, like the Holland State Line. Yeah. And I wonder if it's like supposed to be like Jay Z, like New York City. And they also have their No Frills Radio, which is just a playlist of Canadian artists. I love it. Um, anyway, so that's No Frills. Like, your grocery store could never. <laughs> Seriously. I'm sorry that we, we have the coolest grocery store ever. Like, ever. Does your grocery store have merch? Like, I don't think it does. And do they have an album? Have they written an album yet? Where um, is it? Like, sucks to suck. It is what it is. Okay. So I think I've said all I want to say on no frills. Okay. So as I mentioned, Loblaws, okay? So Loblaws, this giant grocery store conglomerate. I don't know if I'm using the word conglomerate correctly. They have a bunch of brands under them that are sold in their stores. Mm -hmm. So Blue Menu, for example. And then we've got President's, President's Choice. Choice. And President's Choice in the last couple of years has released plant-based products. So they have a plant-based line and someone asked us to review them. 
and we're gonna. Now, I've tried a lot more of them than I think you have because I've always lived near yeah. a Loblaw's own store. Yeah. But you've tried quite a few still. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to go through them. We're just going to give you our opinions and we're going to put them on the screen. Yes. The first one that was not included in their list because I think it's an organic product is the PC Cheesy Puffs. So Cheesy Puffs, what do you think? They're okay. They're okay. They're kind of bland, mm -hmm. but they have the texture right. So I would give them like a, I'd give them a thumbs up. Or we're just going to, what's our system? Let's do a thumbs up. Okay. Let's just do a thumbs I give them up. a thumbs up. Yeah, I what would say that, it? like, I thought they were good, and then Happy Black Legends sent us those the chickpeas. Hippies. Oh, hippies, yeah, you're right. Yeah, is that what they're called? Yeah, it's just, yeah, they're and made of chickpeas. They're, so way, they're, better. they're way, way better. They're way, way better. And they have another one, there's another one, it's like quinoa bites or something. Those ones, even those are, like, better. Like, it's just the text, they, it, mm. the flavor's so important. But if you're, if you need a snack and you're craving it, you can always, like, dip it in something, you know? Yeah, it, it's good. It's I would definitely something. get them again, but, like, I think that, Maybe they could be better. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Okay, I haven't tried any of the protein. Neither have I. I'm pretty loyal to my Beyond Yourself protein. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, we have had the Undeniable Burgers. We've had them many times. Oh, yeah. They're the ones I'm obsessed with. Oh, they're so good. They're like juicy and thick. Yeah. But they're not too like meaty. Like you can tell it's like a veg burger. By meaty, she means that they're not, yes. they don't simulate meat like a Beyond Meat Burger. Um, it's like, so they're not creepy. No. By media, I guess I mean um, just like a good texture, like a juicy, yeah. like you bite into it and it's like, mm. They have a really good flavor, I think. Yes. I saw someone complaining about them on the Toronto Vegans Facebook well, group. She said wrong. they tasted like dog food and I said, uh, I disagree. Yeah. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're my go-to every time. The grocery store does sell Beyond and I pick these over Beyond. Every time. Okay, you've had these. We had these the other day, the Italian sausages. Love them. We put them on our pizza. Great. They were delicious. Thumbs up from me. I've had the breakfast sausages too. Absolutely delicious. So, so far we're killing it with, yeah, the, with the meat options. Yeah. Um, okay. The next one I've had is the mozzarella sticks. Oh. Have you had them? No. They're okay. There's no other option for mozzarella sticks that I've ever had. True. And so the bar is low. Like mm. I definitely feel like they're not amazing, but I would get them again. Okay. That's because so they're kind of in the same vein as the cheesy puffs where it's like, they're not amazing, but with the limited options, it's still like an option. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be really careful. They explode really easily in the <gasps> oven. So as soon as you know they're done when the first one has exploded and you're like, get them out. That's the canary in the coal mine. Yes. The first, yes, yes, yes. First. Oh, we appreciate you so much first mozzarella stick. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> the chickenless strips, not as good as Gardein, but pretty good. Okay. They're pretty good. I eat them a lot and I pick them over Gardein. I don't know why. I don't know if their price point is the same. They might be slightly cheaper. Yeah. But I pick them over Guardian constantly. That's interesting. Uh, we had the breaded cutlets. I would give it a thumbs mm. down. Really? I like it too much. But what if you wanted a cutlet? I don't ever find myself craving a cutlet. I know, but I'm saying, but that's what it is. I would say, mm. well, what is, a cutlet would just be like the <laughs> breaded. And typically are dense because they've oh. been flattened. So that's oh. why the texture was so dense. I don't think I've ever had one before, which is why I was like, mm. I don't like this. Cause I, I imagined it being like a chicken burger. So yeah, no, they're supposed to be dense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well then I don't know then. I would I, say that they're pretty good for what they're supposed to be. Like you okay. would, you would make like, um, like a schnitzel sandwich kind of vibe or like, um, chicken Parmesan. Yeah. Okay. I understand. So I think they're pretty okay. I haven't tried the coconut, um, oh. the cream cheese, but I've heard it's really good. The mayo, have you had this? No. Okay, it's not It's not great. Suzanne really hates it. Um, oh. I think it's fine. I think that they're, they've been selling it really cheap, which makes me wonder if they're gonna try to sell it out to make a better formula. Mm. It's just like Hellman's pretty much replicates mayo perfectly. Yeah. And this does not look like mayo at all, texture wise, it doesn't feel like mayo and it kind of tastes like mayo. So I don't hate it. And when it was like $3 as opposed to Hellman's like six or $7, I was like, for sure, but mm. I wouldn't pick it. Is it flavored? No, I think it it is a little more yellow in real life than real or Hellman's mayo mm. or real mayo. Um, it's not quite that beige, but it's still oh. more beige than regular. Yeah, it looks like it's like a Sriracha mayo or yeah, something. Yeah, it's not, they don't have that. I've tried the cashew dip, it's fine. 
What is it? Is it supposed to be replicating anything, or is it just supposed to be like a new thing? I think it's just dip. supposed to be on its own. I've never heard of a cashew Thai dip protein. before. I prefer hummus for sure. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I've had these, the cheesecakes. They're really good. Big recommend. I have not. I've had both flavors. They're very good. So yeah, the apple pie I've not tried, but I actually think their regular apple pie is vegan. They've done oh. this with a couple of products. They also have plant-based chocolate chips, but then their regular ones, their decadent oh. ones, I'll mm. put on the screen, are already vegan. The ice creams, they're good. They just taste very coconutty, which is good, but it's not always what you want. Yeah. Like sometimes you want a chocolate ice cream to taste like a chocolate ice cream, not chocolate just coconut. Co yeah. yeah. Um, so just bear that in mind. The mochis are fire. Ooh. Oh, those are good. All those are yummy. Do they have other flavors or just the mango? No, they, That's fine. Mango's a solid yeah. option. Mango's I hope they get more because they in like reg, your non-vegan food in the non-vegan line, they have like chocolate, vanilla, oh, um, etc. But yeah, these are really good. Great. The yogurt is not good, guys. <gasps> uh oh. It has the the textures off. It's not like fully disgusting. Like it's definitely edible, but it's it. I wouldn't pick it up mm. because. My law or my no frills at least carries like Maison Riviera right. and better silk even is better. Yeah. Um, okay, the cheeses. We've had all of these pretty much. Yes. They're pretty good. Refer to our cheese taste test. Yes. This is in there. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't seek these out. I wasn't a big fan of them, but I know Marley likes them. Yeah, Suzanne likes them a lot too. Mm -hmm. Um we like the Swiss one. Swiss and cheddar best. Um the shreds are also pretty good. Yeah. So that's pretty much all of them. Hopefully they just keep getting more and more. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Love to see it. Have you tried President's Choice? What are your opinions on President's Choice? Do you have an absolute favorite here that we need to try? Yeah. Because we will try. What are we missing? Yeah. Um, do you disagree with us? What do you think about no frills? If you do some yeah. research on it, let, I want to know your thoughts. Yeah, no frills is so cool. There's so much of that I had no idea about like at all i'm pretty obsessed like i just think it's so strange yeah it's very f unique yeah very fun very very unique yeah that's the video hope you had a good time <laughs> thank you as always for watching mm -hmm. if you could as taylor said subscribe to our channel share content with a friend comment down below like the video turn on your notifications <laughs> follow us on instagram vegan yums with three s's uh check out our coffee and our patreon if you'd like to go above and beyond and directly contribute to the growth of this channel uh we also have a discord that's connected to our patreon that's pretty cool as well and furthering the vegan agenda yeah let's further the vegan agenda together and as always the